Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Now you see who we're going to talk about, right? I'm like, did she get abducted? Ab- ab- oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Abducted by aliens? Okay. Did Bootsy and the spaceship come and pick her up and took her away for a century? Tell me, tell me. Or a decade. Let's go with a decade. And she's looking paler and paler and paler. Like she just want to erase her total blackness. You know, we don't took her black card. She can't come to no more reunions. Can't come to no more picnics. She can't come to no more house parties. Because she's really not a part of the black race anymore. Especially when she was up there rooting for a Trumpy Trump. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is that going on with that girl? Honey, what's the name? Damon Dash? Come get your cousin. Come get your cousin. She's going to be hollering and crying and talking about her sobriety. But most of all, saying she didn't know DMX was dead. I said, unless she was taken off the face of the earth. And bought back one year later. That would that would be the only way she can explain saying some shit like that. I don't know what that girl is on. Cocaine, heroin, crack. I mean, I really don't know. Or she just plain has went insane. I don't know. But her family really need to check on her. Because I'm like, wait a minute, hold up now. Now I know Dane, Dane, when Damon Dash, I know he's still around. He's still up in the uh, social media s- uh, circle or network. Why don't he go get his cousin? Why don't he go get his cousin and have her be evaluated by the nearest psychiatrist? Okay? Not psychologist, psychiatrist, because they need to put her on some medication. Because even animals knew when DMX had died because <laughs> he used to have dogs remember i'm like what was she on the mothership somebody called bootsy <laughs> call snoop dog to reach bootsy college okay because we know he um been putting out music or that was his group he um got between what's the name um bruno mars and anderson pack he put that little duo together to make an album and it is selling seriously out there so honey you in about want some phone 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 y'all better hook up with um bootsy collins okay but i thought i would laugh my behind off did y'all talking about she didn't know uh dms we did i mean it, everybody talked about this stuff on our radios, on our social media platforms. And I'm like, where did she come from? Where did this child come from? Because y'all remember her in Clueless, how she used to look, you know, look, look brown skin. Brown skin girl, you know what I'm saying? Or lady, however y'all want to look it up. But right now I'm like, girl, were you up there in that uh, Boots and Collins spaceship child? Well, you're up there and just smoking ooh-wee and you just, whoo, wee. You just couldn't take it no more, okay? The mothership had to drop you back down, girl. And you came in the era where you were one year late talking about Boots of Collins. Not Boots of Collins, I'm sorry. Talking about DMX. Girl, 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 girl. I guess she was under a rock, seriously. Well, honey, let me tell you also, I guess you're going to have a fit once you hear Marvin Gaye, uh, Rerun, you know, Fred, Fred Berry, uh, James Evans from Good Times, 
uh, the artist named Prince, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Aretha Franklin, Joan Rivers, and Aaliyah. Girl, they all died too. You going to cry, shed a tear for them as well? Because evidently you wouldn't, you weren't on this plane of existence. You weren't on earth with us because anybody that anybody that anybody knows, knows they did a whole week of tributes to DMX. So, girl, you one year and two weeks behind. I don't know what kind of sleeping pills you was on, child, or what kind of sleep you were getting that you totally missed out on every comings and goings for a whole year. I'm like, were you stuck in your house for a whole year, girl? Did you get any mail from the postman or postwoman? Did you get any of your bills to pay? Or did you pay them up just for a year? And you thought you would just go MIA. Girl. Woo, woo, woo. In my Martin voice. Girl, girl, girl. I don't know what to say. I, I really don't know what to say, child. Except you're a clueless. The only other thing would explain, like I said, if you got abducted by aliens. Mm-hmm. But anyway, we're going to go into rolling out. Dot com. They wrote up an article on Miss Lady. So they just couldn't believe it. They could not believe it. Um, let me see who it was a Terry Shrump Schreier wrote it. He titled it DMX Died Last Year. Clueless Stacy Dash just found out. Twitter pounces. Yes, like a tiger pouncing on their prey. Mm hmm. I don't know what's wrong with this girl. I really I really just don't know. But we're gonna go on into the article. And it says, Clueless star Stacey Dash is being plummeted on social media after admitting on TikTok that she just found out the legendary rapper DMX <coughs> um, died more than a year ago. Now, like, you know how to get on TikTok. You familiar with that? And that's a new app that just came out for people to be on. Girl. But you didn't know DMX died. All right, girl. All right. DMX transitioned at age 50 on April 9, 2021. As confirmed by his family, news of DMX drug overdose in his home and eventually death weeks later was widely reported. Global reported, Stacy. Global. International. Girl. I guess we didn't get up to the mothership where you were hanging out at. Outside of the stratosphere. I don't know, girl. But um, going back to the article, the fact that the 55-year-old actress just learned of this has subjected her to even more national scorn. Yes, it was getting all up in her ass. Okay? I am today six years and one month clean. And it breaks my heart, Dad said on TikTok. He lost to it. He lost to that demon of addiction. Please don't lose. I'm like, girl, he already done lost. He just said he died. Well, we already knew. But you're trying to come in with something a little different. Yes, a little different that we're not understanding at this point in time, okay? We don't know how you've been gone for a whole year. Well, you part of the 4400, girl, where they, the big ship came and took you away and took you, you know, a year from this plane of existence. Y'all know y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, 4400, I think it's on Netflix or Hulu, whatever. Mm-hmm. Are you from the manifest? Uh, what did the the manifest with that plane disappeared and then mysteriously appeared one or two years later? Uh, yeah. But they didn't age one bit. And like I said, I don't know. She just like a ghost up there, looking like that. A ghost. Like, girl, you ain't got no vitiligo. Don't play that shit like Michael Jackson tried to play, okay? Because he damn sure didn't want to be black either. He wanted to wipe the color right off his face. It seems like you're doing a very good job, too. Very, very good job. Mm-hmm. And then, I mean, if you just wanted to come out and tell us you had been doing well with your sobriety, make a video about that. But, girl, I don't know. The puppet mouse is just really playing with you, girl. You're almost in a situation like Wendy Williams. Mm-hmm. Are they walking you down, too, girl? I'm just saying. You're going to see the lights real soon. 
Mm-hmm. I just put you and win in the same boat, baby. I just put you and win in the same boat. There's no life in y'all. I'm like, how could you even uh, call yourself trying to get on College Hill and fail at that miserably? Because you left. You left too soon. You let Nene and Ray J run you out the house, girl. Mm-hmm. We're going back. The former single ladies admitted um, that she is late. Adding, I was strolling through TikTok and found a DMX song that has saved me many times. Suddenly, it says, rest in peace. Well, honey, Luther Vandross has been gone, too, for a long time. <laughs> so, you want to listen to some real good, feel-good R&B movies. I mean, uh, music. He gone, too, baby. But we still keep celebrating with listening to all of his greatest hits, honey. And the ones that weren't such a big hit. The man is a legendary. He's iconic. All right. He would never leave our minds. Okay, unless we develop Alzheimer's or something like that. A little dementia, then yeah. Maybe that's what you got going on because you still remember folks. You still remember folks, so we can't throw that at you. Okay? But anyway, um, she goes on to say later, Dash wrote that. I did not know he passed away. She went on to write. He OG. I am heartbroken. He was such a great guy. I'm like, did you know him, girl? Did you know him? Mm-hmm. Did you know him, really? Okay, somebody on uh, Twitter uh, said, So did Stacia Dash just come back from the blip? Thanos ruined her life. Okay, then we got another one that says, Stacia Dash gets emotional after finding out DMX passed away over a year after his death from overdosing. Mm-hmm. Twitter was not sympathetic to Dash's tears and instead ripped into her with merc- mercilessness. Mercil- mercilessness. Okay? Oh, that meaning they, didn't, they did not show her any mercy. Okay? Didn't show her any mercy. One person on Twitter wrote, This brings in a whole new meaning to Clueless. While another muse, Is this the trailer for Clu- Clueless 2? Child. Uh-uh. Not with that complexion. Unless she's going to be Cher. Cause that's what she looked like she want to be. You know, Cher was her best friend on Clu- Clueless. Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, Cher, is she going to turn black? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This just ain't right. She ain't right. She ain't been right since she tried to be a conservative. You know what I'm saying? Talking about she's on Trump team. Girl. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Oh, good Lord, Stacey Dash going to shit herself when she finds out Trump. Lost a third person surmise. Others also mentioned Dash's ghostly appearance as her face looks much lighter than in previous decades. Now, that's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. She bleached and bleached and bleached until she ain't going to have no type of pigmentation to her skin. Just like Michael Jackson, she's going to start wearing makeup because she's just been doing it and doing it and doing it well, trying to turn herself from a black woman to a white woman, literally speaking. Okay, going back to the um, people that were actually on her Twitter, were well, on Twitter talking about her. Um, one another um, user wrote, "I can't believe DMX died," and hashtag Stacey Dash. And someone wrote, "Nobody, absolutely nobody." Okay. Mm, 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 mm. And then another one wrote, transformation to become a conservative white lady is almost complete. <laughs> yep, I look at her. Just, just look at her, guys. Just look at her. Okay? Totally different from single ladies and being on Clueless. I mean, totally. Like, girl, how could she? Beautiful girl. Be- That's how I was like, look, Kim could stay satisfied. With what they looked at like. They had to keep on and keep on and keep it on. Keep it on, you know. Ooh, it was too much. Another um, Twitter wrote, uh, Stacey Dash gets emotional after finding out DMX passed over a year after his death from overdosing. <laughs> and it's an emoji uh, with the guy saying, who the hell is this? <laughs> then we try to figure that out too. Because our pictures from yesteryear are not, they're not faring well. They're not matching up. With the person we're seeing on our screen. Okay. Then, I mean, they're still clowning her real bad. I mean, real, real bad. So, um, yeah, we don't know what the hell is going on 
uh, with um, Stacy Dash, and they even have a, a picture of Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa, you know, he was brown skinned as well, but he done lit himself up. Like, well, hell, he damn look. He he looked like the mixture between being real, real uh, light skinned and just touching a a bit of lightness towards the white person. No pigmentation. It's like he's wearing makeup and shit. And that's what uh, Miss Lady going to be doing afterwards, too, because she ain't going to have no melanin in her at all. Mm-hmm. And then one other user wrote the fact that she is choked up of DMS passing. Does it negative me being blinded as well by this? Yep. She just uh, blind as well. <laughs> or she definitely ain't looking at who she are who she is in the um mirror yeah she kind of messed up real bad real real bad doing all this skin bleaching i'm like dang who is your bleacher girl that they should well hell they make money doing it they ain't gonna tell you nothing they're just gonna keep lighting you up lighting you up lighting you up until i guess you start bleeding or something hell i don't know i don't know but yeah, that was the little uh, tidbit I had to do on Stacey Jazz. Cause I'm still like, girl, where is the mothership, honey? Where is the mothership? You need to tell Boots said, and you need to tell Snoop Dogg, girl, cause they can get you together. They can get you together, cause they know all about that ooh wee, okay? And you might can use it for medicinal medicinal purposes. But right now, you, you ooh, you out here looking like a whole head fool. A head fool, girl. A head fool. Just thought of that word. Added that to my vocabulary. Because she is definitely being foolish, fuckery, fraudulent, and fakery with this shit. I don't know if she just wanted to, uh, what do you call it, rev up the social media world. Or she wanted to uh, give so many TikTok uh, memberships over there or, or subscribers. I don't know what she doing. Maybe that's how she making her money. She'll just go and do some outlandish shit. And then put it on uh, the social media realm. Whether it's TikTok, Twitter, uh, Instagram, or even Facebook. Uh, she just wants attention. That's what it is. That I feel like it is. She's an attention whore. Whoo, Lord have mercy. So an attention seeker. Okay. Boy, I tell you, I tell you, what the world coming to when we have to change our color, our skin. Then Dr. Um, well, they not doctor, but well, he was a doctor. I think he was doctorate in, in, in research and stuff. But uh, we didn't need to be judged on our skin, our character, our color, or our creed. Did you not remember that? Did they not teach you that, Stacey, in elementary school about Dr. Martin Luther King, past civil rights worker, leader? As well as pastor. Girl, you do need some help. You do need some help, girl. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Get down in those comments. Y'all know I do respond back to you all, each and every one of you all. As well as uh, subscribe to the channel. Yes, we need you to subscribe. I'm going to keep saying it every video, okay? Because it's what I do. I do. And like my videos, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.